Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the new crime thriller, Boneyard. And this is from writer-director Asif Akbar, who has previously worked on films like Skeletons in the Closet and Clown Motel, The Commando, Mojave Diamonds. So a lot of these straight-to-VOD kinds of thrillers and horror films, action films... And he brings this true story, based on true events story, of a serial killer who still might be out there. And you have Brian Van Holt and Nora Zahetner, who are two detectives that are trying to investigate this case, trying to turn over all the stones and like all the things going on in terms of the deaths of these people. You have their chief, played by 50 Cent, which, I appreciate that he's putting the work in and trying to become an actor. It's just not convincing. And what is interesting is Agent Prechovic, who's brought in, who is the one that does investigations on serial killers and stuff like that, played by Mel Gibson. And Mel Gibson is the most charismatic, interesting person in this movie, and by far steals the show. And it's that kind of thing where it's just like, and he's not in it that much. He's not the protagonist. He's there to kind of shepherd them along and try to help. There's tension between them. It's that jurisdiction thing. It's that perspective of like old school police work versus this like trying to figure out the unsub. That kind of element, which brings some interesting layers. Mel Gibson, when he's on screen, is very charismatic and interesting. He makes interesting choices as an actor. A lot of the other performances are solid. Nothing special, nothing particularly interesting, but I do find it interesting, like, this this film follows along this very suspicious character, and it's just like, is this the person? And, like, there's some really uncomfortable and unnerving elements incorporating that story into this. I think that there's some shocking elements to this story, some twists and turns along the way, but unfortunately, a lot of this film with a lot of the performances feeling a little flat. I think the filmmaking feels a little fat, a flat. It does have that like dark gray kind of like oh, this is a dark and ominous kind of film. It kind of has that vibe, but nothing particularly interesting with it. It just kind of like oh, this looks dark and somber and it's just like okay. And narratively I don't know if this really offers a whole lot that's new or interesting or fresh or any kind of fresh take on these kinds of investigations. And overall, I just feel like this film kind of feels like, hey, if you're really into crime thrillers, let's throw Mel Gibson in there to chew some scenery for a bit and, you know, you go along with it because you really enjoy these kinds of stories. And there's definitely going to be an audience for this. But I don't think this film goes anywhere near trying to offer anything new or interesting to this particular genre of film. And for those that aren't super into like the true crime kind of stories and stuff like that, I feel like we'll probably be left wanting a lot more than maybe those that are a little bit more inclined to this genre might appreciate a little bit more. But in general... This is more of like that kind of you watch it, you forget it kind of brisk little thriller and nothing particularly too memorable about it, but maybe you'll enjoy the tropes and the trappings along the way. But those are my thoughts on Boneyard. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.